We are here at 520 Niagara Lane North in Plymouth, Minnesota. This is a single family home with a very large backyard. I hope you enjoy. We'll start with the neighboring view and then head in through the house. Here is a look at the front door there. We have some nice landscaping. You even do have a large front yard as well, but the backyard's a little bit more secluded and private. Little neighboring view. You have the driveway here and a two stall garage, semi-attached because of the entryway there in the middle. All right, so coming right into the home, you are welcomed just into the small little entryway, but you can either go downstairs or to the left of the kitchen. So here you have a dishwasher, some white cabinetry, cute hardware, got an electric stove and oven, some more cabinetry here, stainless steel fridge with some water. Then another little section here cute little coffee spot and then here you have the dining room that bench does stay it is built in overhead light and a window looking out to that back deck and backyard then it wraps around over this way too there's that front door entry got a large window living room space here it is hardwood floors And the furniture you see in this video is available for purchase if you'd like. Um, just let me know what you would like to stay if there is something. Got a little entryway here and a coat closet. Coming down this way to our left is the bathroom. So you got a full bath here with a tub and a shower. There's a tiled shower. And you got the tub. Across the hallway here you have a linen closet. First bedroom to our right. Hardwood floors continued in here. A couple windows. This is a king bed, I believe, so you got lots of space in here, even with that king bed. And then the closet right here. And then we have the second bedroom on the main floor. Hardwood floors continued windows to the back and side of the home. Again, this furniture can be purchased if you'd like. Give you another view from over here. We'll check out the closet. shelf can be removed so you can hang longer items if you'd like. Now we'll head upstairs. Just got to move this box. All right, upstairs you have a additional bedroom. So this would be considered the third bedroom. You have a little built-in shelf here. Nice little lounge area. Maybe if you work from home, a nice little office spot. And then it continues in back here to the actual bedroom portion. Window there that you can view the side of the home. There's a little closet tucked in here. And then under through, or through these, there's a couple of these little doors here is room for some storage if you'd like. Head back around. And then check out the basement. OK, 
Okay, entering the basement, this little room here in front of us is utilities and a little closet space. And then the rest of the living room kind of loops around that center there. We have a room here. Kind of using it as an extra closet. We do have closet space behind there. And it wraps around over this way. Lots of room down here, lots of space to do what you'd like with it. Living area set up here with a window to the backyard. Closet space. More utilities. And then we have an additional bathroom down here. This one's just a three, or this one is a shower and a tub as well, so another full bath. And then lastly, through this door, you have the washer and dryer. Got your water softener in here as well, and your water heater. Some extra shelving room for storage. All right, here we are on the back deck. You have this entire area here to set it up how you'd like, but lots of deck space, and then it overlooks this gorgeous backyard. You have a fire pit there to the left. There's a shed way back there to our left also, and just a large, very private backyard. That trampoline is getting removed. And then a little garden space here if you wanted to maintain that.